Hello, you are watching Julie with Julia Setter's Journey. I am an American expat in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been out here for about four and a half years. Today, I want to give you a rundown of some preventative health care that I pay for out of pocket, no insurance in Bangkok, Thailand. This is my second time in four and a half years where I have had an entire full comprehensive preventative health care. And let me tell you the process and how it went both times. I woke up one morning and I said, hmm, today is a really good day to go to the hospital to have everything checked. Now in Thailand, the doctor's offices are in a hospital and I go to an international hospital right here in the city and the doctors were educated out west. They speak fluent English. It is a little more expensive than public hospitals. So like I said, I go in, I wake up and I say, today's a good day to go to the hospital. No appointment, nothing. I just take a taxi to the hospital, tell them what I want done and everything gets done. Let me tell you everything I got done the process, how much it cost, everything. So the first step was a gynecologist, a uh, pap smear, um, ultrasound down there, the doctor's visit. Then I tell him that I want a full panel blood work. I'm talking everything, including STIs. And let me, let me, let me just show you, hold on. Okay, so I have my paperwork here, a complete blood count, urine ex uh, examination, glycated HB, one, two, three, four other tests, liver function tests included, my, the lipid set, the, my vitamin D count, and uh, blood drawn for any STIs. And so, like I said, I got a uh, pap smear and then a vaginal ultrasound done. And then I wanted a chest X-ray. So the person from the gynecologist section takes my paperwork and walks me to another wing of the hospital for a chest x-ray. I don't even have to carry my own paperwork. That is superb customer service. I also get a bone density scan. Again, the woman takes my paperwork, walks me over to the bone density scan section and tells her, the, the, the woman there, what I need. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to do anything but walk myself and follow the, the woman. I also get a mammogram. And again, my paperwork and myself were being walked to the mammogram section of the hospital. And I get a mammogram, I get an ultrasound on uh, my breasts. I, yes, so all of that, no appointment, not a single appointment. I was in and out in five and a half hours, no appointment with my results. Some of the lab work didn't come back because they had to actually send it off site, but I was able to debrief with my doctor the results. The same day, everything, he went over, I've got paperwork of everything that he went over. Oh, I just noticed something. I also got an EKG. <laughs> so I did all of that in five and a half hours. Now, the first time I did it was about two years ago and it took only two and a half hours, no appointment. 
Uh, this time it took five and a half hours, I believe, for two reasons. One reason was I had to wait a little bit because my gynecologist was with somebody who had an appointment. <laughs> And I had to wait for that appointment to finish. And then it was also lunchtime and the doctor was at lunch for an hour. So, so it did take five and a half hours. Now, had I been in America, in the U.S., that would have taken months. I would have had to have gone to the doctor's office and then to the places where they conduct all of these treatments and then waited for the results to come back and then set up an appointment to go over it all. Months and months and months. Bangkok, Thailand viewers, in and out in one day with results. How much are you asking? Well, you might want to sit down for this before I tell the price uh, the next day because one of my test results came back a little bit, you know, off the chart. <laughs> so the next day, a family practitioner called me. The doctor himself called me to go over my results and said, hey, Julie, just wanted to let you know everything looks good except, you know, this. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. It's been like that for a while and it's been creeping up for a while. And then he says, okay, well, I'm gonna have a cardiologist give you a call. And I said, okay. The cardiologist gives me a call that same morning. And she says, hey, Julie, <laughs> um, I want you to come in. I'm like, okay, well, I can't today. When's the earliest I can come in the next day? You guys, they got me in the very next day with a cardiologist and just the follow-up from those doctors were amazing. The service, the care, the treatments, the attention, it just amazing. And, and so I went to the cardiologist, the, uh, not the, so the, Day A was all of those treatments with no appointment. Day B was, hey, Julie, you know, I want you to come in. I'm the cardiologist. So I came in day C to go see the cardiologist. So are you sitting down yet for the grand total of all of that? $23,360 Thai baht, which converts to... 640 US dollars, 77 cents. Under 700 US dollars, no insurance, out of pocket, all of that, no appointment, five and a half hours. Yeah. So I go to the cardio car, blah, blah, blah. I go to the cardiologist and the breakdown for her services and the treatment was my lab work 71 US dollars my packaged medical charge which are like other services and other fees and stuff 12 US dollars and the physician evaluation 33 US dollars, totaling $116 for a cardiologist appointment. Results the same day. When I went uh, two years ago, it was, I got pretty much all the same things and it was again under 700 US dollars. So I think that my home country of the United States of America is doing something wrong with their medical care and their treatments and their entire health care system. Something is wrong. I'm very glad to be in Thailand. I am very glad to be able to, first of all, I'm very happy and grateful that I am able to pay this amount out of pocket even though it is still a substantial amount for 
most people, I'm still so grateful that I'm able to cover it and do it and have that sense of peace of preventative health care. And um, the process, just so easy and so simple. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of my Thai co-workers asked me which hospital did I go to when I told her the name and she says, oh, that's one of the more expensive hospitals in Bangkok. And I'm thinking, holy shit, man, seven under $700, that's so cheap. But apparently my hospital is one of the most more expensive hospitals in Bangkok and I thought it was very, very affordable. So I am happy and grateful that I'm able to pay for all of that out of pocket. So click the thumbs up uh, when you like the video. When you watch the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Julia Setta's Journey. I have so many other videos that I've made from living in Thailand, from traveling the world. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I'm glad that I did. So thank you very, very much for watching and I wish all of you good health, health, health and more good health. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, share, comment, tell me where in the world you are watching from. And um, if you ever need medical treatment, just come to Thailand. Thank you for watching.